Funnily enough, I wasn't really into music until I was about until I went to boarding school. Uh, my brothers were both big hip hop fans, so I used to always hear some of their music coming through. They had a uh, you know a lot of artists that they would listen to: Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Biggie, Pac, okay. Busta Rhymes, Early Nas. Those were EPMD. I really fell into hip hop when I was 11 or 12 years old, listening to artists like you know, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Ice Cube, Nas, Jay Z. Why? What spoke to you about that? I'm not really. I'm, I don't consider. I guess a lot of people these days consider me somewhat of a rebel because I'm sane and normal, and we live in clown world. But um, I'm not someone who's naturally rebellious in any way, shape, or form. To be honest with you. Within 10 months from me starting rapping, I released my first album, which was called Commercial Underground. So I put that all together myself. It was an eight track album. I ordered 50 CDs and sold all 50 in the first week, primarily to friends and family. Then I went back, I ordered another 200, sold all 200, went back, ordered a thousand, ended up over the course of time selling over 3000 copies of my first album, totally independently, all hand to hand, all DIY. And um, that set it off, really. I used to sell my music and make the majority of my income by okay. going, going to different cities, standing on the street in the town center, and talking to strangers, playing them my music, and selling them my CDs for typically five pounds to ten pounds. So what does that translate to at the time? I guess let's say seven. Let's say seven to fourteen dollars. Okay. Right. And. I talked to hundreds of thousands of people. You can imagine to sell 25, let's say 25,000 albums. Do you know how many, do you know how many people you need to talk to? And this is me by myself, one on one. Exactly. You got a friend.